our friends up here like the dawn. Well, I'm bringing a, a little more of my library into my office uh, each day that passes. Not least among my books is uh, a history of Spanish heterodox, history of Spanish other believers, which as you can imagine is not an uncontroversial topic. I believe around page 850 you'll find people like me. A lot of fun. Anyway, the empty bookshelves you've been seeing behind me as I filmed I will be slowly filled over the coming days. I wanted to uh, smoke my Kristen for you guys, a gift from a friend, and uh, tell you guys about a private blend that a friend and I uh, came up with. This one always smokes a little weirdly for me. I'm, I always forget there's a little, the hole is actually on, in the middle of the bowl. Which actually makes for a slightly different way of tamping. I'm still a little ambivalent about smoking a Kirsten. But uh, this certainly is a very, very nifty pipe. One of my friends calls it a space age vacuum cleaner. That friend is actually the friend who, pardon me, that friend is actually the friend who came up with the blend I'm going to tell you about, with a little minor assistance from me. And it actually became the blend of choice in my bookstore while it was still open. And it's still very popular at the Bird and Baby, which is the philosophy club that um, hangs out and, and, and meets and smokes in uh, my bookstore's old building. The name of that blend is Chocolate Manhood, which actually leads to an aside for me. My channel is not purely a tobacco channel, a pipe smoking channel, but a lot of people I subscribe to basically just do pipe videos, which I really, really love, and I'm trying to kind of participate in that. And those of you who are regulars in those circles are aware of a subset, or I guess I should say an overlapping circle. Or maybe the emphasis isn't so much on tobacco. Let the reader understand. So when it comes to pipes and pipe tobacco and videos about pipes and pipe, to pipe tobacco, I want to interact with people based on those things and I don't care to be lectured about talking to and um, having pipe fun with other members of this pipe smoking community. I just felt that, like I wanted to get that out of the way. I'll continue to be myself in these videos, which means I'll rock the bow ties, I'll smoke my pipes. And I'll tell you about chocolate manhood. The chocolate manhood, um, is an unorthodox blend. I'll be curious to know what you guys think. 
I know that when Roland first suggested it to me, I curled my lip up. That sounds disgusting. But uh, then I smoked it. He had mixed half Latakia, half of a dark or black Cavendish. We've since fine-tuned it to a third Latakia. When we go down, uh, we went down to our local tobacconist for the first time and mentioned that eyebrows are certainly raised, and I understand if you're raising them. But I'll tell you what, it smokes like cocoa. Um, the dry kind of cocoa uh, that you, uh, you know, if you're going to make chocolate milk with it, you need to add a lot of sugar. It was a dry, cool, chocolate-flavored smoke. So that's why we've called it uh, Chocolate Manhood. That and just the fun of the name. So, one part Latakia, two parts of a black Cavendish, and there you have it, Chocolate Manhood which I'm currently smoking and enjoying in this Kirsten. Well, if you'd care to comment and let me know what you guys think of Kirsten's, wouldn't mind hearing it. If you decide to blend and smoke the chocolate manhood, let me know what you think of that. And uh, thanks for watching.